All right, guys, once again, it's still Scott's truck. I wanted to, uh, this is his Fickham harness. We went ahead and swapped it out. His actually looks better than the one that uh, we just put on it. <laughs> actually, his looks better. But I just wanted to swap it out. Went ahead and put a swap to Fickham harness just to rule it out. We swapped it. So here we go. Hit it. All right, I had to find the keys. All right, here we go. Hit it. Same thing. Number seven. Well, somewhere over there. Who knows? Might be number five. It's the only one chattering. So, we're looking at injectors. A full freaking set. That sucks. But this is a different Fickham harness. We've, we've done it with a different Fickham, too. Uh... So it's the it's actually the injectors, so they gotta come out. Full set too. We ain't there ain't no doing any of them. That's the whole set. It's only got 120,000 miles on it too. That is freaking sad. We did pull, hang on. Alright, we did pull the fuel just to make sure, because you never knew. You never know if we had unleaded in it or something. I tasted it, it's good. There's some metal in there. Quite a bit, but who knows? Six liters aren't so uh, uh, picky to, you know, any kind of contaminants in the fuel when it comes to little metal flakes, not like a 6.4 or a 6.7. But who knows? I mean, maybe them injectors in the return lines. I mean, but nothing gets to it, so who knows? I mean, maybe that was in the drain pan. Maybe I'm barking at the wrong tree because uh, nothing can get back. Yeah, nothing. I mean, yeah whatever but damn that sucks I mean actually no start because of injectors there's nothing else I mean there really ain't uh, cam sensor is good fuel pressure is good low plugs are good uh, crank sensor all that it's fine Pickham's okay so who knows if it had unleaded put through it or if it's just got really long oil change intervals I mean, who knows? But whatever, whatever's been done to it needs to not happen anymore to it because this is a 120,000 mile truck. It should not have injector issues right now. All right, so I guess uh, I've been using arc oil. So this is one right here, you know. I mean, generally when injectors go bad, replace them. Uh, the silly snot and snake oil is just that. I mean, eventually you're going to wind up in this position needing a full set of injectors. I mean, but, you know, hopefully it carried him for a while down the line and he didn't spend too much money on the fuel additive or the oil additive on. I don't know. I, I don't know a lot about the uh, I used RevX before and I've got a lot of customers that use a lot of that other stuff. But I just, you know, I mean. I sell injectors here because an injector absolutely will fix it for a long, long time. Uh, the the additives, all that's going to do is going to put a Band-Aid on it. It's going to kick the can down the road. Eventually, you're going to need to put injectors in it any freaking ways. So the money, but if you get time, I mean, I don't want to bang on it too much because if you get some time and some use out of out of the truck, then, you know, who are we to say that that's not a... Uh, decent investment to just get the truck rolling and keep it starting okay so but I mean for my trucks I'll never dump any of that stuff in any of my trucks that's you know if it starts bad and, and it's starting to run bad and it spits and sputters and, and cuts out when you're driving down the road find out what injector it is replace it or replace that side or or get a reset and replace all of them there is no substitute for a full set of injectors <laughs> I'm just telling you there is not but the bad thing is we don't know anything else about the truck not being able to drive it i mean yeah we could probably throw some freaking some goddamn dragon fire in uh down its throat and make it run but no we're not doing that crap no. so uh here's one thing hey this kind of bugs me uh i had to show it because most of you guys you know what look at that it is physically touching the radiator let's uh let's not do that <laughs> okay can we 
Uh, let's not do that. I mean, I could probably move it, maybe. I don't know, probably loosen it up and move it, but I got another video on these that just, that's just an opinion. That's my opinion on them. I don't, yeah, I mean, but oh well. Uh, just thought I would show the uh, swap in the Fickham harness just because, I mean, I don't take it lightly dropping a couple thousand dollars on uh, on injectors. Uh, money is, you know, it ain't my money we're spending, so it's easy for me to suggest stuff. I just wanted to make sure that we went through all the diag we could possibly go through to condemn these injectors and not be a Fickham or injector harness, you know, so. Enough for right now? Full set. Damn it. Take that wallet. Jesus freaking Christ. Bye, guys. Have a good day.